Okay, I think we're ready to rock and roll, are we? I believe so. Excuse me for one second. Dolphin, where is it? Mark are we? There we go. Welcome! I'm Tommy Maroon for WHBW. We are going to have some fun tonight, aren't we? We are going to have a watch party of the D3 NCAA tournament featuring your... Wall and Wallace Yellow Jackets, the BW and WHBW, and the Wartburg Knights. I, for one, cannot wait for this one to get underway. Excuse me for one second. Alright, so we're going live. That's always a good thing. I figured, you know what? Not watching it live. I wish I could see it live, but... Oh, well. It is the NCAA tournament. Of course, we did not make it in uh, men's basketball, but you know what? The women's team did make it. Watch the Yoshi as we're racing on Mario Kart Wii. Be the wild winner. Of course, the special cup, as you know. Once again, I'm using this on Dolphin Emulator. If you've never played Dolphin Emulator before, I highly suggest that you do. It's a load of fun. Oh, 
well this season, but of course. Warburg Knights, of course, they are from, whoa, whoa, Warburg Knights are from Iowa, I believe. The Highway, one of my least favorite tracks in this game, one of my least favorite. Castle time. Right, Bowser's Castle. Of course, one of the things in the Mario movies is that they have Mario Kart in it. Like, they have Rainbow Road and Bumpy Road. Oh, yeah, that is it. Oh, yeah, that is it. Oh, yeah, that is it.
up and turn up the brightness. Something like Mario Superstar Baseball. Let's add this thing. And we'll play some Mario Superstar Baseball. But before I do that, I need to add another game. Paths, add. Eh, hold on, I'll do that later. And Mario Superstar Baseball. I believe Bell is doing the tip off for the Brown and Gold Brigade. Is it showing on the screen? Hold on a minute. And tip off gonna be won by the good guys. Actually, Sylvie Sonneman starting for us. So there is that. Here we go with the ball driving in, passing that. Bella doesn't take the three. Bella. And we go in. That shot is going to be blocked. 9.36 left in the first. So we've killed 24 seconds. And there is, I think, eight on the shot clock, if not three. I think it's eight. Emily inbounding this. Passes it to Bella. Passes it back to Reagan. Reagan with five to shoot. Reagan going in. Reagan spins. She's on the right side. Puts up a prayer of a shot. It's no good. Gonna be tipped around. Rebound by Woodford. Adjust. First boy, the Wartburg Knights. And the second shot coming up is also good. It's 2-0 Wartburg. Emily has the ball, goes past midcourt, passes that to Sylvie. Sylvie going in. Sylvie with a bad pass, and it's going to be intercepted by Wartburg on the right side. Going in, the tough two-pointer, no foul, no bucket. Good defense there by Bella. <laughs> Oh boy, that was scary. Passing down the left side. Over a minute through the first. Giving it to Bella. Bella not going to shoot it, of course. With 14 on the shot clock. Pump fakes. Passes that to Reagan. Chill. Reagan to her left. Reagan going in. Reagan going to put up a tough shot. That's not a foul, but it glassed down on them. So, we'll retain possession. It's a minute 16 through the first quarter. We're trailing 2 nothing, but still way too early to overreact. And we pass it out, and good job as Yoshi just made her home run. Nope. 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 now has the ball. Passing back to number three. Don't know who he's who, but Warburg is going to be down a lot And now it's a missed shot, Bella on that rebound. Sorry if this game goes a little slow as a pass goes. Now Reagan. And now, or Megan actually. Now Emily. Now Reagan. And now Sylvie doesn't take the three. Sylvie instead goes with it. Davis, this one is going to be a good one. I think I'm going to get there. Oh, I can't. He's going to die. It's not a beautiful run home. But it's too late. Foul called, meanwhile. Minute 55 through the first quarter. Emily Irwin goes to the free throw line. Come on, Emily. With 
we'll see if Emily has what it takes to make it. Yup, we're on the board. Hasn't been a single field goal so far today. But I tell you one thing, both teams are combined three for three at the free throw line. Now four for four as that shot goes in. Knights go the other way. And they go off, passing it to number three. Three, passing it back. He gets it back. One, two, nice, die. Oh, my God, nobody. Going in, looking, passes that back. Goes to the right side, loads up, fires away for three. No good. Emily's going to grab the rebound. Emily on the right side, goes past midcourt, now towards the center of the court. Emily passes that back. Reagan's going to attempt a three, and that's way short. Fortunately, it was not. Oh, okay, I'll hold it. Okay. Yes, I got it. Sorry about that. It's gone up there. It's going up there. Going to seven. Zero. You know what? Twenty-five. Seven-two. Wartburg. That's not good. Still too early. Reagan with it. Reagan steps back. Reagan passing that in. Here's a tough shot. Foul. No block. It Bella's going to the line. Bella is. Not the worst free throw shooter out there, I'll tell you that. She is good. And if I lower that down to zero. Yep, you got nothing. Bella going to the free throw line, trying to slice at this lead. Come on, Bella, you got this. First shot, yes, sir, that is good. Carolyn is in for us. Izzy is also in for us, so the damage has been done in this inning. Fortunately, they lost all their power-ups. And there goes their no-hitter. Bella, two for two from the free-throw line. So that's always a good thing. Wartburg, we'll see how they respond. Passing that on the right side. Here they go. Six and a half minutes to go. It is... 7-4 Wartburg, so don't freak out just yet. Passing on the right side, that's Kira Philpot on her. Now again, try to pass it towards the right side again. 13 on the shot clock. And that shot is no good. All right, we get it. Izzy Andrews on the mess. Izzy. Yeah, BW does sub all the time. That is true. Oh, why would you so slow? Carolyn passes that to Emily. Emily looking. Emily passes that. Going in. Tough two-pointer. There is a foul. Please tell me that's on Wartburg. It is on Wartburg. A blocking foul. And you know what? I'm going to get out of this game. This is getting ridiculous. Anyways, it's Izzy Andrews to the free throw line. Come on, Izzy. Oh, she missed our first missed free throw of the day. Mario against you know, Yoshi against Mario. I like Yoshi. Who doesn't like Yoshi? All right, second free throw. Good. We're still yet to make a field goal today. That's kind of alarming, but what's not alarming is now we are only down by two. Spinning passes that back. That's number 12 with the ball. Emily playing defense is looking, looking, passes that back. There's 12 with the ball, passing it back. About halfway through the first quarter, 7 to shoot. Number 3 guns that one out to number 10. 10 driving in, 10 with a left-handed layup. That is good, 9-5. So that's not good. Emily's off and running already. Emily passes that to Carolyn. Carolyn sharp shooter. Speaking of which, she just got a 3. It's a 1-point game. Oh, right on cue. Am I right? Yes, sir. I am right. And the pass goes towards the right side. Not taking the three. Why didn't Birdo try to get that ball? I don't know. 
And no good. All right, we can take the lead for the first time today. Emily Irwin loads up, fires away from deep, and she airballed it. Oh, boy. It will be Wartburg ball, 4.51 to go in the first quarter. And it looks like there's going to be a media timeout, I believe. Yep, a media timeout. 4.51 to go. So now we can focus on this game of baseball out here. I know, kind of ironic I'm playing a baseball game when it's uh, basketball. But you know what? You got a lot of breaks when it comes to baseball. So that's kind of why I picked this. Mario Heroes against Yoshi Eggs, I believe. Is that's a inside out or come on, dry bones? It's okay, just get the out. Nope, get the out nowhere. That's where we'll get the out. So it's 90 seconds. I can focus on the game for once. Each school has four timeouts. Of course, that's typically how it is in uh, college basketball when you have the media there. I mean, in D3, women's basketball, it's typically five, of course. There's Steve Oliver, the graduate assistant. There's Cody Hartsworth, the assistant associate head coach. Steve Thompson, the assistant head coach. Eli Arnett, Kayla Paul, and we'll meet. El Medun, that are the three, who do you call them? Uh, student assistants, couldn't put my work, or couldn't put my tongue on it. Come on, Yoshi. Oh, man. And there's a base hit by the Oster. <laughs> All right, Paratroopa is up to the plate here, is up, we're back. They just magically cut in, passing it back. I'm just going to bunt because I need to pay attention to the game. That might be two. Nope, just one. All right, a missed shot. Carolyn has it. Carolyn passes out left side, Reagan with the ball. Reagan, and passing that back, going in, looking, and whistle. There's a double dribble. 4.23 to go in the first quarter. Score reads 9-8 to eight as Burrow rips one foul to right field. And get back, get back, get back. Wartburg has the ball. We're only down by one, so it could be worse. Is this pitch count going to go up? Is this three coming up as good? 12-8, to eight, Knights. Get back. Going that one deep towards the left side. Passing that to Carolyn. Carolyn looking. Carolyn not doing anything. As this one goes out, back to her. And now she's driving in. Passing down the corner. Looks like that Sylvie rifling that to Alyssa. Alyssa with 10. Kira not taking the three. Kira, one of the tallest players on the team, standing at six foot. Four to shoot. Passes that to Alyssa. Alyssa wide alone for three. And that one is no good. Rebound by the Knights. And here they go, driving and passing that back for three coming up. That is good. Oh, man. So the Knights are up seven. Now you got a little concerned. Well, we just got a two-pointer, so I guess you can't be, whoopsies, can't be that concerned. And so it's 15 to 10 in anyone's contest so far. So 15 has the ball. Now passing that to 32. 32 rifles that one towards the right side. Number 15 for three. That is no good. Gotta get the ball. Last out on Wartburg. Right, right. Give it to the Jackets. 254 left. And it is 15 to 10. Nice double play right there. Toad's worth making the catch and throwing it over to Toad. 15 to 10. We can get back in it with a bucket. Carolyn has it. Ooh, that one's inside outed. And now Emily going in, Emily. Oh, she traveled. Oh, man, that was obvious. That was bad, wasn't it? I mean, you couldn't see it, but still, it was bad. Look how happy Toad is. 2.40 to go in the first quarter. Still 15 to 10. Is this one's going to be popped up? Who's got that? Ah, uh, that's a dope play. Mmm. 237 now left. Looks like the ball last one out on us. Or there was a foul called. I think there was a foul called, actually. I apologize. 
just do a slap hit back up the middle. Number 32 has it. 32 not doing anything. Two and a half minutes to go. Going right. And now there's a three coming up. That's going to be no good. And the rebound is last out on Wartford. Give it to the Jackets. Do another slap hit. 221 the first. Emily Irwin's getting the ball. Emily goes past midcourt. That's a base hit. That's going to be your first run of the game. And you know what? Emily still with it. Emily with the good guys down five. Driving and passing that. A little too high. Nice save by Sylvie. Tent to shoot. Emily steps back. Loads up. Fires away. Nothing but net. It is 15 to 15-13 on that three. Here come the Knights going the other way. And, oh, I wasted a star right there. Going to go in. Now passing it towards the right side. Driving in. Spinning. Had some open look. And now on the left side. Passing it to number three. Ooh, Yoshi. There's a tough two-pointer layup and in. Oh, man. 17-13. Here's Emily with the ball. Emily passes that to the left side. That is Megan. Megan going in, passing that to Bella. Bella not taking the three. And here we go on the left side. Here's a three coming up. It's no good. Oh, man. That's what happens whenever we lose. We say, as here comes a three coming up by number 15, it is no good. We always say we don't always lose, but when we do, it's typically when our shots don't go in. Most of our shots don't go in. Foul, no bucket. 62 seconds to go in the first. Oh, man, Emily Irwin, I was like, oh, man, right there because I thought I got a diving catch or suction catch by Birdo as Emily with 62 seconds left in a 17-13 contest. Let's see if I can. Nope. Oh, I got a little too greedy. Got a little too fancy. Oh, Emily misses the shot. Of course, when we lost to Marietta earlier this season, that was the thing that killed us, our free throw shooting. The woes just were there all night. Emily, oh, another miss. You just can't miss your free throws. Going in, now passing down the right side. Here they go. We are under a minute in the first. And driving in, there's a two-pointer on the way. No good. We got the rebound. Uh, and now passing it back. Not taking the threes. Megan, Megan in trouble. Megan passing that to Carolyn. Carolyn. And now back to Carolyn. Carolyn with the 12 to shoot. Passing down the corner. Good pump fake. Looking. Carolyn was wide open. Now she's going to take a three. And that one is no good. Whistle. That will be a possession. Meaning it will be. No, it's a foul actually. Megan committed a foul, and they go to the free throw line. No, no free throw line, actually. I'm so sorry. Warburg will get the ball start off the second quarter. Once there's a tie-up, handing it off. 17-13, Warburg leads. Passes that on the right side. Five seconds, four seconds. Going to pass that one a little off target. 2.2 seconds for us to get something cooking. That won't be the easiest thing in the world. If I'm Coach Jerry, I just tell these guys to roll the ball down the court. Or Hail Mary it. Emily Irwin from half court. That is no good. And it's 17-13. Well, that's not a good start. I really want us to go far in the playoffs, but I don't know if we are or not. Each school hasn't taken a timeout just yet, but there has been a media timeout. Whoa, how did that ball travel so far and inconveniently to Goomba? Come on, Birdo. One. All right, made contact. Right to Peach.
First round exits are never fun. Let me be the first to tell you that. I know we have 30 minutes to play, but still, you got to show some concern for your coach, Sherry, because that's how the blowouts begin. They begin with those small games. And then, you know, before you know it, it gets ugly and gets out of hand. But it's only 17-13 out here in the world of D3 basketball. We're talking things over right now. It's a fourth inning in this game, by the way, as you can tell on the top uh, left corner of your screen. You know, she's dealing a bunch of strikeouts. So we roll with Carolyn, Megan, uh, Leah Riley, Izzy Andrews, and Kira Philpott. Those are our five players. Oh, nice catch, Paratroopa. 23 has the ball for Wartburg going left, stepping back. Here they go. And this one is looking 33, passes that. And now going to go to number 10. Number 10 driving in, 10 pass that's tipped. Oh, boy, that might be out. Nope, it's not out. And they keep it. Less than 10 to shoot. Driving and passing out on the right side. There's a three coming up. No good. Can we get the rebound? Yes, we can. Carolyn on the miss. Carolyn with the ball. Carolyn passes that. There's Leah. Oh, I was not right for that one. Izzy passes that. Leah. Leah on the left side to Megan. Now Kira has the ball. Kira passing out in the corner. Now here we go. Driving in. Megan. Megan. Tough two-pointer on the way, no good. And it's Wartburg ball. Stay fair, no. And they pass it back. And there's a foul called a minute through the second quarter. It was on us. Yeah, I remember we were slap hitting out here, and that's what led to us scoring a run for this. One minute through the quarter. Nobody has scored just yet. Oh, we'll flare right to Koopa. Passing that. Number 10 goes in. 10 with a tough two-pointer. No good. Thank God. No foul. Kira on the rebound. Kira pass midcourt. Passes that to the left side. Megan. Now Carolyn. Carolyn to Megan Hensel. And now that. No, Izzy Andrews actually is Carolyn Wilkley. Gets it back. Carolyn and Joe, she's sleeping out there, as you can see on your screen. <laughs> and I'll pass that back. Carolyn loads up, fires away. No good. And we just can't afford a bucket, can we? Passing that back. Warburg really getting away with a lot of stuff out here. There's a whistle. An offensive foul. All right, that means it's our ball. So we substitute, can't tell who though, mainly because I'm playing this game. Up, oh, Toad with an unassisted double play, nice. <laughs> Emily with the ball. Emily going left, Emily driving in. Emily with a tough two-pointer, that is out of bounds. Last out on Wartburg, fortunately. Minute 49 through this quarter, nobody has scored just yet. Passing it back. That's Alyssa now. Reagan Schill. Now Emily Irwin. Emily looking. And we pass down the left side. Leah doesn't take the three. Leah, as that ball is rolled, it is going to be a kicked ball violation. Fortunately, it's going to be our ball. So a minute 59 through the quarter. It's still 17-13. Nobody is scoring this quarter yet. Lobbing that one back to Alyssa. See what we do here. Alyssa going in. Alyssa passes that back. Excuse me for one second. Paratrooper strikes out. And we pass that to Kira. Kira's going to load up. Fire away. Nothing but net. 17-16. So we finally get on the board this quarter. And we get on the board before they can. Is that ball whistle foul? Looks like they will inbound it rather than shoot. Two minutes, 20 seconds, eclipsed through this quarter. 
Nice hit by Pianta. Come on, Birdo, get there. Nice. Passing it to number 10. Now 32 has the ball. 32 passes that back to 10. And I apologize for identifying them by numbers. Don't have a roster with me as a two-pointer is good. 19 to 16. Well, that might. Yep, that's a run. We'll see what we do here. And Reagan passes that to Leah. Leah going in. Leah looking. Leah going to spin. Leah had Reagan wide alone. and said she's going to pass it to Emily. Emily going in. Emily with a tough shot. She's foul. No bucket. So Emily goes to the free throw line. She missed her last two free throws. But for the most part, she's a good and reliable free throw shooter. Come on, Toad. That might set. Just won't set. Emily. All right, that's more like it. First shot is good. It's 19 to 17. 7 04 to go in the second quarter. Emily. As the second shot is also good. It's 19 to 18. Over three minutes through the first or, or second quarter, actually. Number 10 looking lobs that one. Almost picked off by Emily. Number 32 has it. 32 giving it off to the right side. And they have 11. They have 10 to shoot. Driving in. Passing that to number 10. 10 with 6 to shoot. Pass down to the right side. Corner 3 on the way. Ooh, almost spanked it in. That's rare for a corner shot. And now Alyssa passes it. No, now she passes it to Emily. Emily Irwin going in. Emily looking. Emily for our first lead of the night. No. Way off, Way too short. So here they go on the right side. Ball poked out. That's going to be a possession. And that will be our ball. Yep, it is a possession. That's always a good thing whenever you get the ball. Good job right there to poke out the ball by Leah, I believe. Now I apologize if I'm not on my A game when broadcasting out here. Just so used to having the camera out, so used to doing what do you call it, or not having a baseball game playing right now. Zemwe has the ball. Emily walking. Emily. Now here's a three coming up. That's on the way. Nothing but that. It is good. And the good guys are ready for the first time today. Was that Carolyn the junior from Mentor? I think it was. All right. Here they go on the right side passing it. Now number 23 with the ball. 23 steps back. Goes left. They're going to try through their own and miss. It's up for bid. Who's got it? That'll be another possession, isn't it? Meaning that Warburg will get 538 to go in the uh, second quarter. 21-19. Good guys out in front. Oh, come on, Toadsworth. Hope is playing St. Norbert, I believe, later on today. And there's a tough shot. No good. Rebound by Bella. Bella has the ball. 5.33 in the second. Bella passes that. And here they, here we go. Lobbing it to Emily. Emily underneath the bucket. Tough shot. No foul. No bucket. Ooh, that was tough. And there's a foul on the good guys. Five twenty-three in the second. Score reads twenty-one uh, nineteen. Warburg's only scored two points this quarter, whereas we have scored eight. Lunking right here is thirty-two, thirty-two. Gun go off. Thirty-two spinning passes that to twelve. Twelve. And there's a ooh foul ball. Passing that back. Driving in, looking for the tie. It is good. Halfway through the second quarter, twenty-one twenty-one. Emily with the ball. Emily looking. Emily. And there's a catch right there. Spinning Bell with a tough two-pointer. No foul. No bucket. Oh, man. 
Here it comes, 32 with the ball, passing it back. Watch out for the three, or watch out for the two. Now watch out for the three. They're in the corner for three. That is fortunately no good. Who's that last out on? Last out on. Oh, them. We'll get it. We have immediate timeout, 434 in the quarter. Tie game at 21. Nothing ever comes easy for the good guys this season, has it? No, sir. A lot of close games. So now we can focus. We just stretched out here in the game. Seven things stretched on with. Thank God there's no pitch clock in this game. Otherwise, I'd be probably cooked because of the fact that I'm paying attention to the game on my phone right now. Come on, Birdo. It's going to sit. Come on, Pianta. Hit one out of here. Ooh. So in this game, it's 2-1. Meanwhile, out at uh, Hope College, it's 21-21. We took the lead for the first time today a little while ago. So that was a good thing. So they're going to break huddle. Both schools. Yeah, Akron's playing Kent right now on ESPN. Would watch that, but then again, the oldest and greatest university in America is playing right now. It's our ball. Now here's Carolyn with it. Four and a half in the second quarter. Carolyn dribbling, passing it to the left side. With the ball, passing it now. Bella Valen has it. Bella looking. Bella goes in. Bella stops. Bella trying to bully her way in. Tough two-pointer. No good by... Bella has 34 corrals the mess. Looking, now spinning back. That's 32 with the ball. 32 passing it. Now here they go, number 10, not taking the three. Instead, going to go in the corner. Here's a three on the way. That is no good. Bella on the rebound. Bella looking. Bella passes that to Carolyn. Carolyn's had a lot of minutes today, I must say. As here is Carolyn passing that to Sylvie Simon, corn for three. No. Oh, man. And now they have a good opportunity out here going left, passing that to 32. And now a tough two pointer is good. And with that being said, it is now 23 21 nights they reclaim the lead. Oh, man. We have some substitutions, meanwhile, on the bench. Maybe it'll be for Carolyn. Who knows? Passing that to her, speaking of which, 17 on the shot clock. You don't need a three. You can just settle with a two. Passing that to Bella. Bella being double teamed, excuse me, as there's a pass to Sylvia. Now Carolyn with it. Seven to shoot. Carolyn looking. Passing that to Bella. Three to shoot. Tough two. No foul. No bucket. This is getting a little ridiculous now. Now here's a pass back. And here they go with the ball, less than three in the second. And there's a foul, 250. Rolling down by two. Number 35 is going to inbound this. All right, nice suicide squeeze. Right there as the pass goes to number three. Three looks. Three pass that. Here's a three coming up, and that one's no good, thank God. Last out on the Knights. Give it to the good guys. On Toesworth, you can make it. Make it, he does. Emily has the ball. This is round one of the tournament, of course. Emily Irwin looking. Emily... Going right, Emily passes that to Kira. Kira holding on to the ball for dear life. Going in, there's a whistle, there's a charge. She made the bucket, but there was the charge, of course. And 
Now stepping back here, Wartburg would love to extend the lead, wouldn't they? 15 passes that to number three. Three with 210, 15 on the shot clock. Looking, passing that. That's 23 with the ball. Going right, 23 pump fakes, passes it to number 10. 10 walking. And good job by Kira playing defense right there. So Carolyn has the ball. Passing on the right side to Megan. Megan's a good shooter. And pass goes to Carolyn, not taking the three. 100 seconds in the second. And now here's Emily with it. Emily passing that to Carolyn. Carolyn going in. Carolyn with a tough two pointer. No good. We just keep on missing our shots. Uh, there's no other explanation for what's going on. As number 10 goes in, passes that. That's going to be last out on us. 82 seconds to go in the second quarter. This has not been a good start. And you could definitely expect Coach Sherry here not to be happy with how things have been rolling so far. Underneath the bucket, there's a whistle. There's a travel. All right, that's more like it. Give it to the Jackets, a man 16, still 23-21 out here. As it looks like Megan's going to inbound this to uh, Emily. Emily goes to the left side. Emily goes to the right now, passing that to Carolyn. Carolyn looking. She had Megan, and there's a foul called 64 seconds in the second quarter. So I have the Mario Heroes down to their last out. Now their last strike. And this should do it. All right, good game. 6-1 thanks to a big eighth inning, really. I'm only going to inbound this. Shot clock at 20. Yoshi, your MVP. And the deep pass goes to Carolyn. Carolyn stepping back. Carolyn with a minute to go. It's deflected. It's going to be saved by Wartburg. Going in, passing that. Number 15 with the ball. 15. Here they go on the right side. Stepping back. Leah playing defense on the man right there. Now she plays defense on the switch up. Three with the ball. Passing it. And here they go. Number three going to take a three. That is no good. About four. Four or five seconds in between shot clock and game clock. Emily passes that to Megan. Megan back to Emily. Emily not doing anything. 23-21 our score. We've outscored him 8-6 in this quarter. Kira looking. Kira going to hand it off to Carolyn. Carolyn on the left side. Carolyn with 11. Carolyn with 10. Carolyn with 9. Carolyn tough two-pointer. No foul. No bucket. And that will take it at halftime once they can get one last shot off. Running to the right. They're going to put up a Hail Mary. That one is no good. Oh, not been a good half. Especially shooting-wise. Mm, nice 16 strikeouts for Yoshi. So that's not good. We're trailing 23-21. We might be 20 minutes away from our season coming to an unceremonial end. And really, it's been the shooting that's been killing us, which has been a factor all season long for the Brown and Gold Brigade, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pulling up the stats right now for us. Let's look. No, that's not right. Come on. Yeah, it's 23-21 at the half. Looking at the live stats, we are shooting 5 for 24. That's it? Oh, ye gods. That is absolutely atrocious. I'll be quite frank with you on that. Shooting 20.8 ain't going to win you a thing. I'll just get out of this game. We'll play some... Uh, Mario Golf.
Yeah, shooting 20.8 from the field goal line, whereas Wartburg shooting 33.3. I know 33.3 isn't that good either, but you know what? It's significantly better than what we're doing. They've made three threes. Fortunately, we've made four threes, which has really been the make or break for us so far. You know, we're 7 for 10 from the free throw line. That's another thing killing us, our free throws. Our free throws just not looking good. Being 7 for 10. And I forgot I'm left-handed in golf in real life. Oh, what's Koopa doing right there with the letter? Sure. Yeah, that was not the best for us. <laughs> 18 rebounds for us compared to 19 rebounds for them. Each school with one offensive rebound. Two lead changes in this contest. But man, oh man. Shooting just a dismal 20.8% from the free throw line. That will win you nothing. And you will like that, unfortunately. But yeah, 9 for 27 is Wartburg. We are just 5 for 24. I think if I'm Coach Jerry here, that's what I just really try to emphasize. What are we doing shooting-wise? Because it has just been poor all day. Basically, for every five shots we take, only one of them's going in. That's not going to win you anything. They win you a game if you get lucky, but I'll be honest with you, that's not going to win you games in the tournament. But yeah, 4 for 11, Warburg 3 for 14. That's the stat line from three-point land. Boy, oh boy. Largest lead by Warburg was 7. Well, that one was almost a nice chip shot. All right, good job, DK. I love how he putts with one hand. <laughs> Look at Donkey Kong celebrate. Good job, Donkey Kong. How many blocks? One block for Wartburg, zero for us. So, looking at this right here, each school with three assists, we've committed one more turnover than them. Got a toad right there in the bottom right corner. Looks really happy to be there. Four fast break points for us. And they have zero. Man, oh man. Do you know how frustrating that would be if this is our last game of the season, a first round exit? I mean, we had a good season. We were ranked all year long. But the thing is, is that, you know, the struggle is all season. I mean, you struggle to Mount Union, you lose to John Carroll. I mean, all those things happen. That's never a good thing. Never a good thing. We shot 2 for 13 in the second quarter. 
And three for 11 in the first. Fortunately for us, Wartburg struggled in the second quarter as well. We outscored him 8-6 to six in what was a very low scoring and low energy first quarter. Or second quarter, I should say. First quarter was fun. Wartburg went 0 for 6 from three-point land all second quarter. That means all three of their threes have come within the first quarter. So that's a good thing that they're kind of struggling right now. We're basically similar except Koopa's ball is rolling back. Nobody wants to see the replay. Yeah, two for two from the free throw line. All their points came in the, in the second quarter. It came from two pointers. Just three field goals on, man. Koopa wins. So, yeah, they out-rebounded us 11-9 in the second quarter. And, man, oh, man, it just has not been the best for us. Winner plays St. Norbert and uh, Hope College. That will be later on today. We will not be doing anything for that because, of course, that does not apply to us. Come on, get that in the hole, or maybe not. 15.32 feet, that's not bad. Okay, I got one from downtown, huh? Trying to see how to... Do this, it's kind of hard. I messed. Miss and lose, we don't know. All right. So D3 tonight, of course, we will remind you that uh, lacrosse is coming up tomorrow. Both... Uh, Men's lacrosse and women's lacrosse at the George Finney Stadium. We can't wait to bring you that on WHBW. Should be some fun. Boy, I don't know why I'm so nervous all of a sudden about this, but I am. I mean, we're only down by two. I know that. I don't know if we got the ball or not, but still. This has not been the most ideal start. Good shot by Donkey Kong, but now I've wasted two of my powers. See where that lands. So, you think we're going to win it, folks? I'm honestly a little unsure. I'm a little concerned about the Jackets. The third quarter has typically never been that kind to us this season. So, there is that. Oh, man, just tap that in. Hopefully Koopa misses. I don't think. Oh, he had too much mustard. Wow. Going to win this hole. Nice par.
It's a little chilly in my house, isn't it? Uh, I don't know how it is for you at home, but I hope you're staying warm. Weather's been kind of, kind of bad, I guess. Or not super bad, but you know what I mean. Not the best. Well, both schools are back. <laughs> So it's the third quarter that always gives us struggles. Oh, that was a bad shot by Koopa, wasn't it? Come on, don't go in. Fringe? Nope, not the fringe. <laughs> So we'll see what happens. Sorry for not talking right now. Just trying to focus on golf. I'll be talking on. Oh, nice. Buddy bogeyed. Sink to win. Pretty basic. That chip shot off or not. So it's 21 to 20 or 21 to 23. The field goal shooting has just been poor all day for the Brown and Gold Brigade. What happened to the weather out here? Doesn't look very good. Oh, I had too much. I mean, we did guarantee ourselves a winning season. We did guarantee ourselves a tournament spot. We may not have won the Ohio Athletic Conference. You know what? We never know what can happen. Come on, Donkey Kong. Nice. DK birdies. Nice putt from 12 feet. Of course, the PGA, that's, that's a hard putt. So we're talking things over on the left side. They're talking things over on the right. Of course, you can't see. Excuse me for one second. <coughs> Sorry about that. I had to sneeze. Who got the ball? We got the ball. Sylvie Sonneman's going to inbound it for the good guys from Jamestown Greenview High School. Sylvie, a good player, good girl. And of course, everyone on this team very good, both on and off the court. But I'm pretty sure you all know that by now. 23-21. First quarter seemed like it was going to be a high-scoring contest. Second quarter, very slow and boring. 8-6 to six was the score in the second quarter in favor of the good guys. They have full court heat as Emily Irwin with it. Emily Irwin looking on the right side. Emily going to get three off. That one is no good by Megan, actually. Now here they go the other way. Number 32 with the ball. 32 passes that to number three. Thir 32 now has it. Neither school is taking a timeout just yet. Passes down on the left side. Megan playing defense going underneath the bucket. That's a tough two-pointer. No good. No foul. No bucket. And now with the rebound out there. Come on. Nice. Megan with it. Megan passes that to Sylvie. Sylvie goes right. Sylvie had Bella wide alone. Not taking the three. Instead going to look right here. There's 12 on the shot clock. Bella driving in. Bella with a tough two-pointer. That one is blocked. That was a nice block, I must say. Nine to shoot. 
51 seconds through the quarter. Now passing on the right side, Sylvie going in. Sylvie falls down. Sylvie, no travel. That's a possession. That'll be their ball. Oh, that's frustrating. Fifty-five seconds through the quarter. Oh, that's not a good spot for Koopa, is it? Right next to a tree. Running right, Emily playing defense. Ball's going to be poked out. Can we get there in time? Emily going to pounce on that. Pass it to Bella. Now here's Megan. Back to Bella. Bella loads up, fires away, and she banks it in. And we're winning again. All right. That's good. And now driving in, stopping, passing that deep on the left side in the corner for three near the bench. It is good. It is 26-24. And the ball goes out of bounds, but I think it's last down on them. So we'll keep it a minute 32. Sorry for not seeing. Once again, trying to focus on this game of golf. Trying to multitask. Never an easy thing to do. Emily has the ball. We've only made six field goals out, 25 shots. Oh, a pin shot. Did you see that? And now here's Izzy with it. Izzy going in, passes that to Reagan. Reagan going in, Reagan passes that to Emily. Good guys down two, six to shoot. Emily goes right. Emily steps back. She is going to have that one blocked. Bell on the board, and it's no good. Oh, man. Here they go the other way. Going in is number three. Passes that, and it's a bad pass. But it's a foul on the good guys. Going to be Warburg Knights ball. Two minutes, 11 seconds through the third quarter. Score reads... 26-24, Berg, not Heidelberg, but Wartburg. Passing that underneath the bucket, that two-pointer is no good, no foul, no bucket. Good job by Megan to wrestle her away, away from everybody. And now passing that, looking, not passing it yet. Is this here? Now Carolyn has it. Carolyn on the left side. Carolyn has that one tipped. Carolyn, I think she made backcourt, and she did backcourt. Oh, boy. Coach Sherry trying to clap us on, telling us to continue to play our game as there are two minutes and 29 seconds eclipsed in this quarter. 26-24, Wartburg. 23 has the ball for Wartburg. Passing it to three. Going to give it off to the left side. I don't know if this is going to be good or not. The putt is looking. Pass that is in the corner for three. That is no good. And ripped away by Megan. Megan passes that to the right side. That's Izzy. Izzy going in. Izzy weighs one up. And she had too much mustard. Kira on it. Kira looking. Kira passes that. Timeout take. No foul, actually. Koopa wins that. How about that? 257 through the... Quarter, it is 26 to 24. Coach Cody standing up now, sitting down. Coach Sherry talking over things with the referees. He wants some things understood out there. We'll see what happens as we are ready to rock and roll once again. Emily passes it to Megan. Megan double team passes that back. Izzy now Carolyn. We have a lot of time to think this through as Emily has the ball. Emily goes right. Emily driving in. Emily tries a tough shot. No foul, no bucket. Here they go the other way. Passing down the left side, going to take a three. That is good. Yeah, you also concerned, folks. 
good. I want to make sure I wasn't the only one. Carolyn passes down to the right side. Now here we go. Kira has the ball. Kira passes that back. Here's a three coming up. That is no good. A wide alone three and you miss it. That's not good. Passing that to the left side. 6-15 the third. Man, oh man, this might be a first round exit for us as number two has the ball. Number two goes left. Two is going to have that one last out on her. Give it to the Jackets. 29-24 was 23-21 to at the half, meaning they have outscored a 6-3 to three in this quarter. Neither school has taken a timeout yet. It's actually an offensive foul, excuse me. Oh, we landed in virtually the same spot. Emily with it. Emily going left over four minutes through this core low scoring contest. Emily steps back, not taking the three just yet. Instead, Emily gonna pass that. It's intercepted. And here they go, fast break, they slow it down. Now driving in passes that, Kira tries to pick it off, and Kira can't pick it off. And now going to pass out wide alone for three, that's going to be good. And now you're letting this one run away. The Knights are having their way in this quarter. Of course, this the third quarter has been notorious for us. Oh, what do you call it? Season long as they strip the ball away, and now it's a 10-point game. Got to take a timeout for Coach Sherry. You got to take a timeout. There's no denying it now. Dear God. Casey Badlack with it. Casey not taking the three. Casey looking, handing it off to Emily. Emily's going to try a three. That is no good. What are we doing taking threes? It's not working. And man, oh man, this is going to be ugly, isn't it? Passes out underneath the bucket. Wide open look for two. It's a 12-point game. And finally, Coach Sherry burns a timeout. I was wondering what was taking so long. 441 left. So 60 second timeout is what they're going to call it. Oh, brother. It was 24 23. They have gone on a 13 0 run. That is bad. That is really, really bad. A 13 0 run. You don't win games when you are on the other end of a 13-0 run. And we are 14 minutes and 41 seconds away from this season coming to an unceremonial end. How frustrating would that be, folks? I think it'd be very frustrating. Only Stonky Kong is going to win as Koopa's just really struggling to get on the green. My goodness, he's going to at least bogey, isn't he? On the fringe. I don't want to see the replay. It's kind of been something I've been really concerned about all season long. I mean, we're a good team, but are we as good as everyone claims they say? Because, you know, it just hasn't been a very ideal season. I mean, we've played schools like Mountain Union, struggled to them, lost to Otterbein, lost. We've struggled to a lot of schools, struggled to Heidelberg this season. Oh, man, I overshot that, didn't I? At least I won. <laughs> Carolyn goes right. 14.35 left as the sun looks like it may be setting. Casey goes left. Casey goes in. Casey looks past that. It's going to be tipped all the way back. Bella lost it. Picked up by Wartburg. Whistle foul. Well, if you're just tuning in on WHBW, you're not missing much because the good guys are really getting it handed to them. 36-24 this quarter. 
It's been rather frustrating. Four minutes, 22 seconds in this quarter. Timeout taken, huh? Is me just gonna try to add a game for a second library? You know what? Let's type in NBA Live. I download NBA Live. I think I may have or may not. I don't know. Excuse me for one second. No, you're not getting anything bad. Let's close this. Well, I guess I didn't. Uh, we'll play some backyard football. <laughs> well, they're saying that the sun is setting, and the sun is kind of setting on our season, isn't it? And there's my mouse right there as the pass goes back. Going to gun it in, driving in, passes that to 32. <laughs> Now going in, passing down the corner, not taking three. Instead going back, looking, there's 16-15 on the shot clock. We have three timeouts. They have fours. 33 goes in, 33 stops, pivots, tough shot, no good. She gets it back, and 33 has that one rejected, passes it back to three. Three going in, three for two. That is no good. And they keep on getting the offensive rebounds. What are we doing? And now 34 has the ball. And they're looking. The ball's going to be poked out. They still keep on getting it. And Megan finally says enough of this. Carolyn passes it to the right side. Casey and that one in and out. Bell's hands. And passing it back. 32. What that? 32 spins. Passes it. 33 passes it back in and out of her hands. Number 34 with it passing that. Driving in. Tough two-pointer. There's a foul called. Just looking at the controls again. Turbo. Hurdle, stiff, stiff, whoopsie doodles. First shot coming up, and it is good, 37-24. They're on a 14-0 run. Come on, Pete. Pete Wheeler running to the 30. Is that shot is no good. Alyssa on the rebound. Alyssa goes right. No, now Emily has it. Looking right here, still looking, going to hand it off. No, not handing it off. Looking, looking, passing it to Kira. Kira passes it back. And now here we go on the right side. There are less than three minutes to go in this quarter. All right, let's see who's open. That's risky. Threw a peck. Of course I did. And the ball last went out on us. Of course it did. Excuse me for one second. <laughs> They just keep on. Oh, man. Nice tackle. Now, Kira, I believe, grabbed a rebound. Looking, passing that to Emily. Emily to the right side. Here is uh, Alyssa. Now it's Reagan and with the ball. And now here's Alyssa Miller. Alyssa to her right. She has Kira wide alone to end this we're drowning. It is good from three-point land. So we finally get a bucket. Begs the question, where was that all night for the first 
I don't know, eight minutes of this quarter. Excuse me for one second. Nice tackle right there. Walking passing that to 15. 37 27. This is ugly. Passing it back. If they get another three, I'm really concerned. Passing that, walking and speaking of which, the three is good, of course. Oh boy, here the, here we go. Passing the right side, Reagan with it. That field goal is good, by the way. As Kira looks. Kira in trouble. Kira passes that. And we yelling for the ball going in. Walking right here as Megan passes that way off target, but fortunately is out of bounds on the Knights. The Brown and Gold Brigade will get it. 120 to go in the third. Once again. Seems as if the sun is setting on the season. Come on, Pablo, Pablo, he could, nope. There's a foul, meanwhile, with 113. We've only made three field goals, or two field goals this quarter. Oh, never mind. Passing that to Megan. Megan running right. I just feel bad for those. Seniors out there, this might be their last game as there's a deep shot. I think it was a, nope, it was a two actually, excuse me. What the, oh. And meanwhile, they just made another shot. Good Lord. Come on, Pablo, take it in, nice. 42 to 29 is a score. Forty-five point three left as here is Megan with the ball. Megan passes that. Here we go. Driving in. Reagan goes back, passes it. Megan loads up, fires away from three point land, and that is no good. My God. They're going to extend the lead, aren't they? Shot clock barely alive. Point three percent I hear that correctly. I think I did. They're just going to milk out the clock. And now passing that to 15. 15 with four on the shot clock. Passing that underneath the bucket. It's good. 44-29 to end the third. Yep, the sun is set, hasn't it? Well, it was a good season, I must say. We had some fun on WHBW. I'll be the first to tell you that. But man, oh man, looks like this season is all over now. I just feel, once again, the, the people I feel bad for the most are those uh, seniors. The seniors, they work their tails off. I mean, though they 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 played four years out there. They did everything they possibly could to win the to win and do well, and it's gonna result in them. Oh, nice pick, Joe Senda. It's gonna result in them losing. Oh, that's gotta be super confusing. You're down by an incredible fifteen points. There is no way we're going to come back, are we? I mean, you never know, but it looks highly doubtful. To our seniors, Izzy, Megan, and Reagan. Definitely, we want to say thank you to them if this is ultimately our final game of the season, which it looks like it is. Once again, that third quarter, we mentioned it at the half. It has not been kind to us at all this season, and it was just, it wasn't kind to us. It, was, it wasn't not kind to us this season or the, today. It was just straight up cruel. Did I get that? Yes. Nice kick. Annie Frazier. <laughs> 
Unfortunately, we'll get the ball. Dear Lord, we only scored eight points in that quarter. They scored 21. Emily goes right. Emily goes in. Passes that back. And here we go on the left side. That's Izzy Andrews. Izzy passes that to Bella Valent. Bella looking. Bella has it back to her. And now underneath the bucket, Bella's two-pointer is too much mustard. And now two-pointer on the way. Another mess. Question isn't what's going in for us or what's not going in for us. The question is what is going in for us. Because it has just been so, so frustrating. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, cough drop. That's what it does. It coughs up the ball as there's another made shot. 46-29. A minute through the quarter. Nine minutes to go till this one's over. Uh-oh, don't throw a pick. Nice. Underneath the bucket, Bella Valen has that one blocked last out on them, thank God. So Warburg will be the sixth team, if not the seventh team to beat us this season. Paul was saying that one all the way. Yeah, they're the sixth team to beat us this season. And there's tough shots blocked. Bella again. Bella misses. Over the back, I think, was the call. Well, at least we had fun right here in WHBW with this watch party. Oh, ball's poked out. Aw. Going to pass it back, not taking a three. Walking, going in, passing that to the left side. And going in, that's a two-pointer. My God, it's a 19-point contest. Emily Irwin with the ball. Emily looking. Emily passes that to Carolyn. We're going to have to put up shots. And I know I say never to make stupid shots or threes, but you got to put up threes now. There's no other option as another mess. Just eight points this quarter. That is just unusual. Not the good guys. Pass goes to the left side. Now wide open. One for three. That's good. No, no good. And we got the rebound. Whoa, whoa. Play just happened. I wasn't even paying attention. Nice tackle right there. And we now Bella for three. Bella misses. Ah, oh, man. Bella breaks the three-pointer. I mean, we we have not had a game that's been ugly this season. And for the first half, this wasn't ugly. Second half, this will just prove to be deadly for us. Oh man. Touchdown. Passing down the left side. We have gone over two and a half minutes, and we haven't scored this quarter. Going in, looking, passes down the left side. And looking, they're just going to let the clock die, aren't they? Number three goes in, passes down the left side, driving in, and there's a bad pass. I'll be our ball. Come on, Pete Wheeler. Oh, he's going down the sideline on that. He might take this thing. He's going to take it. Emily has the ball. Emily with it. Emily with three minutes through this quarter. So that means less than seven now. Kira's going to take a three. That is good. So it's about time we make a three. But it seems way too little, way too late by now. Passing on the left side. Going in, looking, looking. And now going underneath the bucket in trouble. Lobs that one back. And that's going to be a little too far back. But they retain possession without backcourting. Ending it off, here's a three coming up. That is no good. Carroll with a nice rebound. 
Here we go. Carolyn driving in. Carolyn two-pointer is good. It is a 14-point contest with 6.17 to go. So at least we can say we made it look interesting, I guess. Whistle a foul on us. Reagan is in for the Brown and Gold Brigade. I assume that we'll probably see the scrubs and backups in. All right, nice job right there. They'll probably go for it. No, they don't. Here is Leo with it, passing that to Megan. Megan to Carolyn. Carolyn looking. Carolyn with a 14-point deficit going in. Carolyn looking, passes that to Leah. Now out in the corner, Megan hands over three. That is good. All right. Maybe. Maybe we have something cooking now. 48-37, to 37, the score in which the Browns beat the Steelers in the playoffs, of course. As that one is almost picked off. Timeout taken by Wartburg. 5.40 to go. Still not holding my Yeah, still not holding my breath on this one, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, is that Pete again? He's going to take this one the whole darn way, isn't he? Dance, 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 score. Pete Wheeler. He's pretty broken in backyard football, isn't he? Look at that, he's going to run away. Pete Wilmer may not be the smartest guy out there, but he is the best, or he is the fastest on the field. So it's 48 to 37. We're chipping at the lead, I guess. So there's the kickoff right there from Annie Frazier. Wartburg just doing the dandy out there in this quarter. It was 48-29 at one point, meaning that we have gone on an 8-0 run, but there's still so, so much ground to make up. Each school with three timeouts to burn out here. So 48-37 the score. They got that. Yes. Oh man, they're gonna use a power up. Run away from them. Alright. 23 lobs that one towards the left side. Gun go back. 526 in the fourth quarter. Now looking right here. Driving in, that ball almost poked out. It's a bad pass. Come on. They save it, though. 32 passes to the left side. There's a three coming up, and there goes everything. 51-37. So much for a comeback as there's a pass on the right side. We are not taking a three. We are looking. We are. That ball is last out on us. Yep, it looked too good to be true, didn't it? More than halfway through the quarter. Did he score there? Nope. Aw. Passing that back. 440 to go for a miracle. Is that Marky Dubois? I think it is. Passing it, driving in. Here's a tough two pointer. It's God. 16 point contest. Well, whatever they talked about at the timeout has clearly been working. Emily passes it to herself. Emily passing it to Leah. Leah gonna go left. Leah looking. Leah in trouble. Passes it to Kira. Kira tries a three. That was just a bad shot. And now here they go, driving in, passing out underneath the bucket, in and out of her hands, LBR ball. Four minutes, three seconds to go. Now everyone's moving in super slow motion, aren't they? 
Don't worry, there are just 22 seconds to go in this contest, and there are just 4 minutes and 3 seconds to go till the game is going to be over. Oh, that's a fumble. There's a 3 on the way. It's no good. Whistle over the back. Over the back. Reagan responsible for that one. Oh, have you ever seen that before? Fourth and 49. Oh, that's a good punt. Oh, it goes into the end zone. Can we get it? It's game over. Hey, it's over. Wow, that killed like 16 seconds. We won. 31-17. As there's a whistle, there's a timeout. 3.33 to go. Coach Jerry burns a timeout. Good game by everybody out here. Good game for everybody there as well. Yes, the broadcaster said best time is indeed the enemy. Looking out here, I'll try and type in some backyard games. Maybe I'll find some backyard basketball. No, no backyard basketball. Maybe back maybe if I type in backyard basketball. No matches found, really? That's odd. Well, we'll uh, turn off that lot, uh, game. We'll play some uh, backyard. No, no, no. Let's play some strikers. Yeah, strikers. And there's a tough two point. That is good by Carolyn. 55 39. Looking and now still looking. No travel call. Passing down the left side. Looks like we're going to be double teaming out here. Passes it back. Not doing anything right there. Just only the clock die going in. Tough two pointer. Has a little off target, I should say. Now here we go. Emily Irwin for three. What was that? An air ball. That's what it was. 2.53 to go. The season will be over in a minute, unfortunately. I'll lead you against Peach and some Birdos. So we'll just play this game and then hop out. Oh, we got to steal. Emily going in. Emily looking. Emily's going to be fouled. 2.40 to go. Only going to be a matter of time till you see the backups in. Our largest loss heading into tonight was... Well, who do you call him? Our largest loss was back in uh, against Marietta. Oh, go put it in. Oh, he was there. It was back against Marietta when we lost by 10. I think she missed her first shot. All right, we strike first. And the second shot is... Good, from what I heard. Uh-oh. Looks like they're going to get there for it. Yep. We're hearing some D-up chants. Oh, man. 2.20 to go. And by the way, I'm starting to react towards the Strikers game. Oh, Birdo gets shocked. And there's a ball that goes out of bounds on us. Two minutes, 11. They will have one second to put one up. Passing that, and they won't get the shot off. Wouldn't have gone in anyways. Shot clock violation. I mean, I don't think they mind that at all because they're up by 15 
in this quarter as this game is tied right there. God, we're going to have to go super fast. Passing that Megan's trying a three. Megan misses. Yeah, yeah, you know the old saying, never say never? This is one of those times you might want to say never. There are about 100 seconds left. Just take my word for it that Norbert and Hope will wait the winner of Wartburg. Oh, man. Oh, friendly fire right there. Oh, no. That's a stinker. Down three to one. And they just scored again. Oh, well, you know what they say when it rains, it pours. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's a double goal. We're tied up. 57 42 is the score, however. So Wartburg wins. It's a first round exit. That is not good. Well, what is good was the season. We did take down number two trying in overtime, double overtime, really. We did take down ONU in an epic overtime showdown. So if you call this season a disaster, you'd be horribly mistaken. Well, we'll just finish up these last two and a half minutes as Wartburg has won this thing. 32.2 off. They're up by 15. Just an ugly second half, particularly an ugly third quarter. Oh, no. Nice. All right, good job there, Waluigi. Emily's going to the free throw line. And we have some of our backups in. And they're saying it best on the live stream right there. What a great run we had. And yep. And as I mentioned, if you said we had a horrible season, you would be badly mistaken. Honestly, these girls worked so hard all season long. To criticize them is just not the right thing to do because they did so good this season. I mean, we could have been like what Muskingum was. I forget if they were bad in men's basketball or women's basketball, but they had a very counterproductive season over there. So we have about 90 seconds left in this live stream. Tie game, that was nice. Emily's going to try a two-pointer and miss it. That is so sad. Those seniors, whoa, they scored already. I wasn't paying attention. Just got out of it. Final score is going to be 57-43. Wartburg will win it. And it's a first-round exit for the good guys. How frustrating is that? Come on. No, goalkeeper's got to get that. So we'll sign off in a second on WHBW. How long have we gone this live stream? Over 100 minutes. Oh, well, Ouija got shocked. Honestly, I would probably be complaining and yelling about this game, but you know what? BW lost, and that's kind of the most important thing out here. Come on, Waluigi, put it in. Oh, we got less than a minute to go. Ooh, that's bad. Come on, come on, come on. Nice hit. Nice hit. Oh, they're playing keep away, aren't they? No. No, you don't shoot. Come on, Koopa Troopa. Well, we thank you for watching. Hold on, you, you need to hear the audio of this. Hold on, audio settings. Oh, that's more. Come on, don't 
just stand there and get the ball. I get oh, I'm going to lose this one. Unless I can score here. Come on, put it in. Nope, I lost. Well, that's all the time we have left here on WHBW. Congrats to our senior athletes who worked so hard all season long. And until we meet again tomorrow for the lacrosse doubleheader, this is Tyler.